This is the story of the River Clyde, one of the greatest known rivers in the world. It's a stretch of water that fills Scots with pride. The River Clyde made Glasgow, and Glasgow made the Clyde. The Clyde starts at Lead Hills in Lanarkshire. The confluence of two streams in the Lowther Hills sets it off on a journey of just over a hundred miles westwards to the Irish Sea. Here at New Lanark, the Clyde displays its strength at the falls. It once powered the mill managed by Robert Owen from 1800 to 1825. Owen's ideas and opportunities were a century ahead of his time. Villagers got decent homes, education, free health care and affordable food. Child labour and corporal punishment were banned here. Another Clyde-built legacy. In 1450, Bishop Turnbull gifted the common lands of Glasgow Green to the people. From then, the green was used for washing, bleaching, grazing, drying fishing nets and swimming in the Clyde. The oldest bridges across the Clyde date from the 1850s. The furthest east is the Dalmarnock Bridge from 1891. It was refurbished in 1997. And from here as the river heads west, it runs under the St Andrews Suspension Bridge with its wrought iron chains, cast iron pylons and fluted Corinthian columns. This was built in 1856 as Glasgow flourished into the second city of the empire. Further west, the towering Kingston Bridge opened by the Queen Mother in 1970. Then on to 2006 and the Clyde Arc Crossing, or simply put in Glaswegian, the Squinty Bridge. And this is the latest crossing over the Clyde, known affectionately as the Squiggly Bridge. Next time from shipbuilding to the Garden Festival, as we continue the story of the Clyde in the evening times.